What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing another video tutorial on how to make a screenshot or a screen taking a picture of your screen kind of application in Visual Basic 2010. First of all, I'll go ahead and start with Visual Basic and make a new project, a new Windows Form application. And name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine screen, um, screen Capture. You can name it Screenshot if you want, but doesn't really matter. Okay, next you want to keep just keep this part the same. Make a couple, make three buttons. All right, so let's put the button in here. All right, now we're gonna stretch this out a little bit. Make another one and make one. Okay, make three buttons. Doesn't matter. Just um, make your button. Doesn't matter how you do it, but I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Name the first button. Shoot. Sorry about that. Wait. And then name this one. You can name it capture too. Doesn't matter. But I'm naming mine. Shoot. Name this one. Save. And name this one. Name this one. Uh, area. And we're gonna name it rename the text of the form to screen capture. That's the name of our product. So name that screen capture. Alright, and then you want to go to tools and put a picture box and a save file dialog in it as well. So go to save file dialog and a picture box. There, pick it up. Add one of those in there. Just move it. And you want to like have it pretty big. Doesn't really matter. Just make it as much size as you can get it. And we'll make it that big. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so next, what you want to do is you want to do anchor these, just like to make it more better. Anchor the shoe to the top left. Anchor this to the top left and right. Wait a second. So click down and click right. And for the area you want, the area button, you want to anchor this to the top and right only. So, oh. Do you select the left and just click the right? Looks like that. And for this one, for the picture box, you want top, bottom, left, and right. Solve it. Alright, so there we go. Everything's all set. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to Project up here, click Add Windows Form, and add a Windows Form and just name it, um, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But click Add to that, and we're going to go down here to Tech, and just say, uh, um, just name it whatever, it doesn't matter. Just name it Click and Drag. You'll see what I mean in a second once I debug it. Click and drag. And click and drag. Doesn't really matter. You can go back to the first form. Double click shoot and I'll give you the code. I also have a link to the source code. So that's not really matter. Okay. Copy paste this to the um, first button. You just click. Alright. And then do the same thing. For the save button, which is, well it's not the same thing, just copy the second part, and do that for the save button, so, yeah. and for the last button, you want to have, um, what is it, oh, a button to, uh, so you want to copy this into, uh, area, the area, you'll see why, why I did this in a second. But basically, area when you click area, 
it brings up a box and it will let you it doesn't let you select it but whatever whatever the size of the box you made for one two if I stretch this out it will be everything in this little box area will be um will be basically snapped or took in a picture of so we're gonna make this pretty big if you want it doesn't really matter but I'm just gonna give it like that big okay actually we'll make it yeah, I like keeping the numbers full numbers so we'll make that 1000 by 500 just blue okay we'll do that and then after that you want to also change form to uh, opacity to 50 percent so go to opacity Okay, wait a second. Oh. There it is. Alright, so change this to 50%. Alright, so basically you'll be able to see through it and whatnot. Alright, now we're all set. Now we're going to debug it and. Alright, so here we go. Now I'll debug that and I'll show you how it works. So basically, if you go to. You, won't, you don't want to click shoot right away. You want to always click area. Just select the area you want. And we'll, select, we'll minimize this for a second. And, and actually, I'll take a picture of this code for you. Alright, so you have it. I'll upload this to, to download and whatnot. Oh, sorry. And you go back to this. And that out of the way. And click shoot. And there it is, right here. And zoomed in though, but if you click save, it'll be the exact size. And it always says as PNG, so we made it that way in the code. Let's go to desktop and we'll put screenshot.png, click save. And I'll go to the desktop and I'll open that screenshot.png. See, like, that's the thing, that, that's why you had to make it bigger, basically. So, if you want to have a big screen, like, you want to have. Oh, no, no. If you want to have the same amount of space on this, like see how that big that is compared to this, you would have to make this the same size as that and make well the picture box the same size. So. This picture box is what area it has like to save. So for instance, if I nah, no, no, no. you get my point. Thanks for watching this tutorial and have a nice day. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.